Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we're going to take a look at the Grand Prime. This heavy blade weapon, amazing, phenomenal and it has crazy, crazy damage. Alright, so the Grand Prime, if you don't have this weapon, you got to go pick it up. But let's go ahead and take a look at our stats. We got attack speed of 0 0.8. Now the attack speed has dropped tremendously low. What I recommend is something I'm going to talk about in the video. So hopefully you guys take this upon yourself to use because it's going to help you make the attack speed 10 times better. So we have 32% critical chance, 2.6 times the crit multiplier, 32% status. So high status, high critical chance, and we got pretty good crit multiplier. 60 impact, 15 puncture, and 225 slash damage. Slash damage is looking really amazing. So, because of the 300 damage, all right, this weapon, like I said, pretty powerful uh, heavy blade weapon. I have two builds to show you guys. One is Prime Reach and one is non Prime Reach. I have Temple Royale as a stance mod here because this is one of the best heavy blade stance mod of all time in Warframe. So, we got Prime Reach, Blood Rush, Berserker Fury, Condition Overload, Buzz Kill, Vicious Frost, Violent Scourge, and Organ Shatter. Now, of course, we have really good looking slash damage. So our slash damage is at 495. So that's really good. The second thing is, is that we also have 360 viral damage. Now that is keeping it under, all right, the slash damage. And the slash damage is damn near over reaching 500 damage. So really we can have maxed, all right, max mods for our 60-60 uh, mods. All right, because Buzzkill gives us 120% slash damage, which is really amazing. All right, Organ Shatter, Blood Rush, both help out for critical chance, stacking that uh, good red crit. And um, Condition Overload, you already know what this does. All right, 80% melee damage for any status type of fade in the target. I have Berserker Fury on. So Berserker Fury is going to help you with keeping that attack speed go uh, going faster, basically. Like, just... Boosting up that attack speed. All right. And um, not only just that, but we're also using a arcane. All right. And this arcane is called arcane strike. As you see. So both those, having those on there, this is going to help your attack speed be better. And as you see the insane slash damage you're seeing on here, it's really amazing. That's just something that I will go with. Of course, you guys don't have to take this. Uh, you could just use one Berserker Fury or Arcane Strike, whatever it is. It's up to you. Um, but this does, you know, up the attack speed so you could do more damage with the weapon. Now taking a look at the second build, we have the highest critical chance of all, 102.4% um, with Sacrificial Steel, 220% critical chance increase. So that's really amazing. Uh, enjoy this mod a lot. Always gotta throw it on the builds. Uh, but for definitely the non-primary builds you guys love and enjoy, I have to throw this in here and yeah, nothing else really changed. So that's the only thing that happened that's in here. So let's go ahead and try this out. Now, as you see, good critical chance. Making the weapon 10 times better. When taking Grand Prime to the Steel Path, this is the phenomenal weapon to take to the Steel Path. Definitely high, highly recommend it. Heavy Blade weapon if you want to uh, take a Heavy Blade weapon to the Steel Path. This is the better choice of a heavy blade weapon because this is going to wipe out your enemies it has high critical chance so it's definitely going to wipe out those acolytes that keep annoying you in every steel path mission 
Alright, Grand Prime is just that freaking good. Alright, you guys already saw the stats. So let me know what you guys think about Grand Prime and the builds for the weapon in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias and Twitch. Links are in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Love you guys, and I'll catch y'all in the next video.